Hello, my name is Mark Janesk. I'm Senior Application Engineer with Silo Design Solutions. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make custom volume reports using the Project Explorer. The Project Explorer is an add-on to Civil 3D 2021 and 2022 and is part of the AEC collection. So if you only have a license for Civil 3D by itself, you will not be able to use this method. Again, you must have the AEC collection. The Project Explorer is an add-on program. It must be installed separately. The icon is up here on the Home tab next to the Palette window. So in this particular drawing, I have a proposed parking lot grading uh, with an existing surface, and I've created two tin volume surfaces to compare. Okay, The only difference between the two is I've added some cut fill factors to the second one, and the first one I've left cut and fill factor one to one. Now in the Analyze tab, I've added these to my Volumes dashboard, and you can see I already see my volumes in here, and I can create a report by clicking on this button within the Volumes dashboard, but it opens up as a Microsoft XML file, and it opens up in Microsoft Internet Explorer only. The problem is, is Internet Explorer is reaching its end of life in June of this year, 2022. So... Some firms and customers have already told me they're not installing Microsoft Internet Explorer or are removing it from already existing Windows machines. So if your computer doesn't have Internet Explorer and you press that report button, yeah, it'll generate the XML, but there's nothing to open it with, so you'll never see the report. Unless you dig into your temp file someplace and find it and maybe open it up in Excel, that's a real pain in the rear. So I'm going to show you how to use the Project Explorer to create your own custom reports that you can save to a file and load up again and again as need be in any drawing. So I'm going to close these items I show up in here. I'm going to go back to my Home tab, and I'm going to start the Project Explorer. So if you haven't used the Project Explorer, I'm not going to do a deep dive into it too much in here, but just to give you an idea, um, across the top are the different categories of the civil objects. There are alignments, assemblies, corridors, points, surfaces, feature lines, parcels, pipe networks, etc., station line groups. So um, I'm going to concentrate here on surfaces. So if I look at my surfaces here, I have all my different surfaces listed in categories, um, as well as information about them below here, typically surface triangle information. Okay, Anything that's highlighted with this magenta color is something that I can double click on and change if need be. So if I wanted to modify these parking lot volumes to be 20% instead of 15, I could say 1.20. And now that's the new cut and fill factor. You can see the adjusted volume right there. So right off the bat, I can use this as a, uh, a visual table. I also have some filters up here. Maybe I don't want to show certain uh, types of surfaces. Maybe I only want to show my parking volume surfaces instead of my regular surfaces. So just to cut down on the amount of information I've seen. So different tabs have different filters across the top. But the real secret to making your custom reports is this tab on the upper right here called Object Sets. If I click on the Object Sets command, you see I already have one in here for reporting on feature lines. You make an object set to report on, and then you add the objects you want to in the second window down here that associated with it. So here I have a feature line associated with it. If I select this custom report I made and say run selected action, it's going to create the file and open up Microsoft Word. Now I have a Word document of a custom table. This particular this feature line, I decided to show station elevation, length, grade back, grade ahead, etc. for each of the PI points in my custom report. So I'm going to make a new one to do my custom volume report so it'll look similar to what I saw in Internet Explorer. To do that, I'm going to press this button in the upper left here within Project Explorer to create a new object set. I'm going to call this Tin Volume Report. Okay, I can make a description if I want in here, but the name should be sufficient for this uh, particular report. 
under the object set actions, I'm going to pull down and I'm going to say report to the Microsoft doc file. I can also, uh, Microsoft Word, I can also report to PDF, um, HTML, CM, uh, CSV, um, or export tables to AutoCAD. So uh, either a separate file or within AutoCAD itself. So I'm going to choose Microsoft Word doc file. And then if I just use the regular layout of the Project Explorer window, I'd have to go back and set which columns I want to see. And it's a real pain in the rear where I can make custom uh, layouts specific for the different information that I want to show in each report. So I'm going to say use specific layout style. If I have one already, I can click the browse, go find the file for one I've made in a previous drawing, bring it in here and just apply it. But I'm going to edit and show you how to create your own style. At this point, this is the layout options tool. Again, I have new open and save, so I can go ahead and open an existing one and modify it here or save the one I've got out right now and hit OK. Since I'm going to be concentrating on Surface, I'm going to click on the Surface tab here. And I'm going to go ahead, first thing I'm going to do is clear all the buttons so I don't have to go through and check them all and just check the ones that I want for my particular report. In this case, I want the Surface name. I want the unadjusted cut fill and net volume the cut and fill factor, and the adjusted cut, fill, and net volume. I could change the order of these items as well. Maybe I want fill in front of cut. I can select fill here and use the arrow buttons here to push items further up or down in the column chain. I can also group items together by selecting an item. Say, hey, I want to start a new group starting with this first heading and then continue it with my next two groups. So I'll say continue continue and I'll do the same thing for the adjusted. I'll start a new group with the adjusted and then I'll say continue and continue. And maybe I'll give this unadjusted a heading here of unadjusted. Oops, I seem to have hit my cap locks. Okay. And then I'll click this one and I'll just say adjusted. That will add volume to it. Make it look professional here. All right. So you can see you can group things together, change column order, etc. So these are the columns I'm reporting on. But you got to be careful. There are addition column choosers in there. That's the surface tin triangles. Well, I don't want any of those. So I'm going to turn those off. And I don't want any of my grid surfaces. And there's one more setting in here under uh, surfaces. The volume surface summaries, for some reason, I'm not getting anything with this. So I'm not quite sure if I'm missing something. I'm going to go ahead and just check those off. If I figure out what these do, I will go ahead and make an addendum to this video. But right now, I'm just going to leave it alone. I can cover everything under this layout for surfaces. Okay. So with those columns chosen, I'm going to click OK. It's going to ask me to save it, so I'll call this volume surface report. And now I can load this up. Next time, next drawing I'm in, I can go ahead and just create a new object set and report this in. Okay. Um, the next thing I'm going to do here is change my report style. Uh, again, I'm going to use a specific style. Um, I may have one already here together, but I'm going to go ahead and edit to show you. This is basically the format of the page, the page layout. Um, I'm going to change this to inches. Uh, I can choose different paper styles. So I'm going to use 8.5 by 11, landscape. Um, at the top of the header, I'm going to put the project report name. Um, I can change the font. Maybe I want everything in Arial. Okay. Uh, and then all the preferred foot or two, I'll say, hey, I want that in the area of black as well. Um, I can set up some column, some table uh, lines, uh, change the width of the lines, different header and footer information. Okay, that becomes when I'm, I'm going to save it as my report layout. And then that becomes something I can bring in to my report layout later on. I can also set up, you know, the AutoCAD table settings, in this other tab at the top. So here's my tin volume report. Um, I'm going to report to a Microsoft Word doc file. I have a custom layout of the columns I want, plus the report style, the page layout that I want it on. When I'm done, I'm clicking OK. Now I have my object set. I just have to add the objects that I want to report on. 
So I'll click the green button in the next column with that highlighted, and I'll come to the Surface tab, and I'll choose those volumes surface. Okay, so these are the two I'm going to report on. I can change the order of these, move one up, move one down, whatever I want. And that's it. I'm ready to go. I'm going to select my tin volume report, and I'm going to say Run Selected Action. The Word document is created. I'm going to click Yes. It's going to open it, and there's my custom report. Okay, so you can see there's my tin volume report name. There's the custom information there. Here's my grouped, where I said unadjusted and adjusted volume, and it grouped those together. So here's my two reports, cut and fill factors, fill factors, I made sure everything was aerial. So there you go. Then I'm, I'm ready to save this and print this out, send it on. Again, when I open up another drawing, all I gotta do is create that uh, group object, uh, um, uh, objects uh, set. And uh, I haven't tried this, making it a template. It's possible maybe I could set these up in a, in a template. Just be aware that I have to save those custom styles. So if you, if you make custom styles, these have to be in a location where Civil 3D can see 100% of the time of using it. Otherwise, you're going to get an error that it can't find the layout style, and it's not going to report the way you want. You'll have to go ahead and recreate that. Okay. So I hope that helped. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me at mshinesk at siler-ds.com. Um, you can email us as a group at cadtechnical at silerinst.com. Please browse, visit, subscribe to our blog at www.siler-ds.com forward slash blog for more tools, tips, tricks, and information on Autodesk products. I hope this helped, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much.